All right, let's start another vlog. This is after the, we spent a thousand dollars. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I think we ended up doing what, like a 600 trip or 900, 600, 1000 dollar trip. We're going to start off with just dropping some packages off. And see, the first step is getting the cart. It's actually not too full. There's three. I think there's only three three FBA boxes, but they're big boxes. All right, guys, kind of windy out here, so it's going to be a little mind that. Went to the Green American Garage Sale, the War Memorial Coliseum in Fort Wayne. Got a few things here I'm going to show you. Got a few video games. It was kind of surprising that they were very cheap. The, the top three were buck a piece. And we're going to you know, probably profit about 30 bucks out of all of those. The Xbox One games are about 8 bucks a piece once we haggled them down a little bit. You know, they're about 20 to 35 bucks a piece, depending on which ones. Black Ops 3 just came out, so just cause. Got some old PC peripherals, old network card. I think it was about 25 or roughly on the Amazon used a little card bus a little adapter for your express cards or I think it was about 45 bucks used on Amazon and a little floppy USB power drive plug it in your laptop or your PC it looks like this one was running right around 65 to 70 used Amazon got a Canon power shot can't the only thing about these you can't really test too much when you're here put the camera down sorry guys can't really test things when you're here but we got a little Canon Power Shot A590 IS. I think we FBA right around $90. We paid $20 for it, so that's a pretty good deal. Got a couple uh, little Spectro Polaroid uh, one step camera in there. Paid like $3 for that. There's a LAN camera 80B in this box, has a lot of the accessories. I think we paid about three bucks for that too. A little Loot Crate exclusive Deadpool figure. Got that thrown in with the uh, the Xbox games uh, for 30 bucks, so we just made about eight dollars. Got a few vintage phones, brownies. Kind of, if you guys ever see these, kind of look at them as you pick them up because these just these ones here alone were running about 15 to 20 bucks shipped on eBay. Paid like a dollar, two dollars a piece for those. Bigger one, right around the same, about 20 bucks. Got a good deal on those. Got a Mindflex dual game. If you guys don't know any of those, check it out. Guitar, your guitar, everybody knows. A little Diamond Old Rally Pathmaker, Pathmaker, sorry, has a little truck in there. Paid three bucks for that. It's right around 20 to 30 bucks complete on eBay. Got a little DVD Toshiba combo with remote, which is rare. I mean, it's kind of yellow, but it was rare still. Extra cords, paid five bucks, right around 100 bucks on eBay or Amazon, FBA. Got a little Sony. Uh, micro cassette player with the microphone Which is cool never find too many of those and this is cheap little puzzle for a buck We're just gonna throw in and see if we can get ten bucks out and uh, Here's where the event was the old war more arena expo center All right, so for that great American garage. So we're gonna drive around hit up the thrift stores here in Fort Wayne and probably do some retail arbitrage because it's still early. Usually we're out in the middle of the night. It's like 10 a.m. But the first thing is the Fran Francine. Oh, I ain't gonna be able to say that word, but it's 50% off. <laughs> and you can see, well, that's kind of weird. A lot of the store is just a bunch of clothes and stuff. In the good corners. Look, they've got quite a few electronics over there. Might find something good. This was meticulously placed. Follow your dreams by speedboat. Oh, I did turn corner, so they might have some good stuff. They got a slim PS2, 16. It said half off the sign right. See it's that off, and they got a Wii for 20. Missing the door. Though. Say okay. Wii's missing the door. And this is missing a uh, AV cord, but that ain't a big deal. There's a little bolo, little blade bait thing, especially in boxes like this. You should go for 20 to 40 bucks. Try Cash America Pawn. As you know, we don't really try too many pawn shops. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. We're gonna stop in here and sleep with the hat. A long line. They usually have good stuff in here you can't find anywhere else. So you got a Game Boy Color printer. They have the like just random rumble packs that aren't really official, but you can't really find them. And look at that. They even say as is no dongle on their guitars. Okay, I'm not sure how this place does with bartering, but we're gonna try to get a little bit more on. That's a, a Street Fighter uh, chess set. 
you got it for 50 bucks. I say list price it isn't really that much. I don't think it's sold on you. So it turns out you can haggle at half price books. As you've seen, it was $49.99 and he went ahead and went down $39.99. He said they're already going to sell it as a loss. That's why it was so cheap, but he's knocked another 10 bucks off. So looks like we're proud owners of the uh, Street Fighter chess set. All right, what's up guys? Just hit a uh, pretty good uh, Funko Pop haul or Walgreens. Here's a Walgreens. We've stopped at a few, not just to get Funkos, but apparently, I don't know if these are new. They're new at least on Amazon. Walgreens exclusive ATAT -AT driver. Rees exclusive. These are all gonna be exclusive. We only had one of these, this Kit Fisto. And we ended up talking to the guy, just kind of chatting it up and he's like, oh, you guys collect those? Another Rees, I think these might have been all right there. Plo Koon would be the other exclusive. And we said, yeah, he's like, well, we got some more in the back. He's like, yeah, sure, we'll go take them, what you got? He came out with three more. And then we ended up picking this one earlier up. It's, it's apparently it's a glitter, glitter Black Panther only at Walmart. But that's a pretty good haul. And there must be new because the Amazon listings, there's only, there's only merchant fulfilled and they have them for like 35 bucks. Guys, let's hit up a Target. And they had a bunch of clearance stuff. And they actually had something weird I'm gonna show you. I don't know if you guys have seen something like this before. I don't know, it might have the wrong stickers on it, but it was actually inside of a plastic protective case. So you couldn't have put a sticker on it. It had to be done by an employee. But it's a little bit late. We kind of already hit up most of the stuff. Tomorrow's garage sale day, so you gotta get up in the morning to do that. We did end up picking up, trying a little bit of something different with some crutches. Not sure on how we're gonna ship the crutches, but it's gonna be an eBay item because we're not ungated in uh, health. And beauty, or not health and beauty, but health and that kind of stuff. Ended up picking up some games. A lot of it was kind of the same games. I'm pretty sure with Target games, Target clearance, they uh, they're store wide. That's what I've been reading, and that's kind of what you see. But we're gonna go ahead and try to get these up real fast. Actually, we're putting one of these games up on eBay right now, just to try to get them sold in case the price crashes a little bit. Gonna take a little bit of less profit with the. Uh, put them up on eBay and not on Amazon, but we're not gonna take the risk with all of that, that to go up on Amazon. Yeah, there's, there it is. And this is the whole sticker thing I was talking about. It's an Asda sticker, which you usually see, usually that means it's an online, like they bought it in store online and returned it, and they don't sell it anymore there, so they sell it super cheap to get rid of it. But it was says as is, 66 cents. It was 99 cents. He was ringing it up, and it was ringing up 20 bucks or fit no actually ringing up like 15 but when he scanned this sticker then it didn't run up 15 so i believe something happened with the sticker the same thing with this mouse it's just a razor naga mouse but they got seven dollars on it as is i think it was actually cheaper than seven i think it was like six something or five something but it rang up some disney item but that's okay with us i don't know if an employee was saving that for somebody or what but i guess we get out got in on it first my muffin Power Rangers. Well, we came to the Great American Garage Sale in South Bend, Indiana, and uh, plastic cutouts we bought here for uh, five bucks a piece. You know, they're really not a value on them. We're probably gonna put about 20 bucks on eBay, see if we can get a little bit of money out of them. Pretty, pretty cool. Uh, also got a bunch of other stings. Got a couple old 1994 McDonald's Flintstone shirts. Got them for a buck a piece, shoot for 20, take 15, best offer. Got an old King's Kid's Guide to the United States. Paid a buck for it. FBAs for right around forty dollars, just over hundred thousand rank. Not too bad. A couple old VHS sealed wrestler wrestling WWF stuff. Kind of a you know not say it's a uh, high high a dollar on a lot of things, but if you have the right DVD and VHS, you can make some good money. But you paid a buck a piece. Looking right around ten a piece on FBA. Might get twenty for one. Take a shot. Got a little remote control Wally. He all works. Got this remote control here. Paid. Took 25, but I think it took they took me uh to give her 20 on it. Should get about 50 on eBay. Some old Pokemon, like little I don't know, they're like little can't get it open little things. Like little I don't know, like play sets. Got Pikachu hiding in there. Not sure the other one's got another guy in it. Got like the little uh PlayStation Dome gym battle box thing. It's pretty cool. Got it all for I think five bucks with a bunch of keychains in here from the old 1998-99 series. And looks like we got a whole bunch of video games. For some reason, they've been doing a really good deal on these at the Great American Garage Sale. I'm not sure why, but I got some PSP games. Metal Gear Solid and Namco Museum. They're about ten bucks a piece. Paid a buck a piece. Not bad. Spice Girls. 
because why not? I mean, Mel, come on. Uh, we got a couple PS3, PS4 games, which is shocking. Paid about four bucks a piece for this whole lot. Got Ragnarok, Odyssey Ace, Internal Sonata, Minecraft Story Mode, which is like a brand new game. Paid four bucks for PS4. Can't beat that. Mario Kart. Can't beat that for five bucks. Star Ocean by Square Enix. Really good series on all platforms. Four bucks. Take it. Fairy Fencer F. Good XC NESI America type of game. Why not? Another Square Enix, Dragon Guard 3, which is really expensive, good game, especially four bucks. The Discaria Triple Play Collection. It's about a $40 game. Take it for four bucks. And it's old. Not old, but this, I'm not sure the actual. Never really honestly played too much of these anime style games, but OD to the Sun Unborn. Four bucks. Can't beat that.